Hey, what's up, everybody? Snyder Thirty Five here, bringing you guys a video. So basically, I was just, you know, on here on YouTube, just you know, looking, browsing through things on YouTube, and I noticed something that caught my eye. It was the the title of this video right here. Now, when I first saw, I didn't really pay much attention to it, cause like I, you know, I've heard of Six Days in Fallujah, Fallujah, and I was like, at first, I thought like it was just like an old video, the announcement trailer for like the old game or whatever. I didn't really think much of it, but then like scroll back up and reread the title of the game because I saw the announcement trailer 4k and at first I thought it was for the old, the, the original game like they re they reduced trailer in 4k <laughs> and it seems a bit unnecessary but then I like saw when it was uploaded and I like wait hold on a second so I clicked on the video and I started to watch it and then I realized like this isn't for the old I mean it is for the old game but it's not like the old trailer they're bringing this game back like they're redeveloping this game again and they're bringing it back and it's coming out and i and when i realized that i'm like yes <laughs> i'm like bro they're bring they're really bringing this game back it says yes yeah, check out the announce the announcement trailer for six days of fallujah the previously canceled tactical military shooter based on real world events now in development by former halo and destiny leadership uh, Six Days of Aloha is a fast is a first person tactical military issue that recreates the true stories of Marine soldiers and Iraqi civilians who fought Al Qaeda during the toughest urban battle since nineteen sixty eight. Players lead a fire team through real life encounters enabled by unique technology that simulates the uncertainty and tactics of urban combat. Six Days of Aloha is produced and published by Victura and developed by Highwire Games, which is led by many of the original Halo and Destiny leadership. Six Days of Aloha launches for PC and console platforms in late 2021. So yeah, when I found out that there, like this game was actually getting re well, I say released in the first place, I'm like, what? <laughs> this is blowing my mind. I'm like, I don't know how I didn't notice this until just now because this this video got posted like a, a week ago <laughs> so I, and i'm just now noticing it I, I didn't see or hear anything about this anywhere so i'm a bit late to it but i, I was like wow they really brought this back that's for i didn't expect them to bring this back because i remember when this game was supposed to come out this was supposed to come out on the ps3 and 360 back uh, uh, some years ago and it got canceled and I didn't think this game would ever come out. It, it got canceled because it was, you know, like it's, it's supposed to depict like realistic, you know, war, combat stories and all that. And it was very uh, controversial at the time. So much controversy that, you know, was lobbied at the game at the time that I think originally the, the original publisher or whatever for the game had pulled out and then they couldn't pick up another publisher that wanted to touch the game because of the controversy. So they had no choice but to, um, you know, uh, shelved the game because they couldn't get a publisher and and i think the game had been fully finished too like i think the game had reached its end of a full development time but you know like i said because of the controversy and the lack of publishers they couldn't originally release the game so the game's just been sitting there finished and unreleased all that hard work and stuff from the developers is not seen from you know for years not you know after all that hard work and stuff um, as a matter of fact, a good video about this game that you could watch is this um, video right here from that channel, Gamers, uh, the most controversial unreleased game, investigating Six Days of Faluha. So yeah, this is about you know the you know when the game originally got uh, canceled the first time, which like I said, it, it it blew my mind when I realized what this was and like I realized they were redeveloping it and bringing it back out. I'm like, oh yes. Now, now, can this be the new trend in gaming, please? <laughs> can this be the new trend in gaming, please? Bring, bringing back, or, you know, bring, uh, releasing, you know, uh, previously canceled video games. Because there's so many games out there that have been canceled over the years that, you know, would be awesome if they got, you know, treatment like this where they got made again and, um, you know, released out into the public now. So, I, if this comes out which I'm hoping it was, and if it's good, I'm going to try to buy it, because I even said before, like, um, now, if this game had released back in the day, like I was supposed to, I probably would have bought it and tried it out, you know, see what it's like, but, yeah, can this be the new trend in um, gaming, please, because I, I, y'all already know, you guys already know, I got a whole, I got a list of games that got canceled that I would love to see get released like this, if y'all have already seen it, and if y'all haven't seen it, go check out my, um, my previous video I did a while back about the 
uh, six canceled games that I really wish got released. Now, this is a game I've known about for a while, but it, it wasn't on my list. But, you know, now that this is a thing, like I said, hopefully this can be like the new trend in gaming, just bringing back these canceled games. I mean, I was even sitting here just like kind of browsing through the comments and reading through the comments, people's reactions to this and stuff. And, dude, there, there's several different people in the comments, in this very comment section, that are wanting uh, Rainbow Six Patriots to come back alone. <laughs> I'm not the only person that wants that game back. There's several different people in this comment section that we're seeing already bring that game up. But um, yeah, I just wanted to drop this little video of um me just now getting into getting around and realizing that this is a thing. I said this was dropped a week ago. I'm just now seeing anything about it for whatever reason. But so I'm a bit late, but. <laughs> It's still cool though, so you know, hopefully this comes out, hopefully it'll do well, it'll sell well, and it'll be a good game, and you know, I'll try it out myself, and you know, maybe this could like, lead to this new trend in gaming where, um, uh, where like previously canceled games come out, because I'm here for it. <laughs> That's it for the video, I hope you guys enjoyed, it's 35 and I'm out, peace.